What's going on everybody, David here. Today I want to talk about food photography. So we've all been in situations where we were at a restaurant, we want to take pictures of our food and post it on the internet or whatever. But uh, it's hard. It's very hard to take a good picture of food when you're at a restaurant because the lighting is generally not optimal. It's usually low light. Uh, if you're taking pictures during the day, you might have a better, better situation. You can take pictures and use the the daylight sit by a window that that uh, that type of stuff but if you are taking a picture of food at a restaurant and it's nighttime you're usually not going to get a good pic good shot so and you're definitely not going to get it with your phone if you have a little setup and I'll show you the setup that I use you'll have a better chance of getting something that uh, that's usable so uh, let me go ahead and show you let me show you the camera first so first off I when I take pictures indoors at night at a restaurant in low light, this is what I use. I use a Sony A5100. This is a crop sensor camera, so the uh, image quality is pretty good. It's not quite full frame, but it's a pretty good image that you can get from here. And I use this little mini tripod here. So I'll use a little mini tripod. Now, this looks a little bigger. I mean, it's, it's relatively small. I mean, you can put this in your pocket if you really wanted to. And uh, if I'm in a situation, I can just put this end in my pocket and have it come to about right here so the lens will uh, be out. Or you can just hold it in your hand. So if you're out and you want to get pictures of food, this is kind of the option that you'll, you'll have to consider. Uh, either this or bring like a big tripod, which I wouldn't recommend. But uh, this, this will work. So the reason that you need a tripod or something that's steady is because you're going to take a long exposure because you're going to use the the natural light, the light that's in the room. Uh, so it's not quite natural light, but you're going to use the light that's in the room. You're not going to use a flash. Flashes, if you take if you use a flash to take pictures of food indoors, it just does not look good unless you have a big soft box. It's it's just not going to look good. The light is too hard. The light will be hard in this shot as well but it will be the natural light that's in the room at the time so it's going to look just like the way it looked when you were when the food came out to you at the restaurant so this is the setup i'll hold it down just like this let's say this is my plate i'll have my plate here i'll have the food there and this is the setup that i would use now i use my phone because my phone, there's an app, there's a Play Memories app with a Sony A5100 and most Sony mirrorless cameras um, use this same app. And this app has a wireless uh, wireless shutter on here, a wireless device so I can take a picture. So if you don't have this, uh, most cameras will have some type of uh, wireless uh, remote control that you can use. This is just my phone, I can use my phone for the remote control. The, the beauty of this is I can see everything on the screen as uh, before I take the picture. So the back screen here becomes this screen here. So that's nice. So I can see everything and set my composition and all that. So I go ahead, take the picture, and once I take the picture, I take it in a raw raw image. So I don't use JPEG or anything. Take it in a raw image, and then let me show you what it looks like. Well, th the picture here is just straight out of the camera I haven't done anything to it so the first thing that I would do and I have pretty much the same routine with every everything that every picture that I take the first thing I want to look at is the crop wasn't able to get the crop perfect uh, I have person in the background here and then the plate is off center so I want to fix that so we'll go ahead and crop in and don't be afraid to crop when I first started taking pictures I was a little afraid to crop oh it's 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 when you take a picture in 24 megapixel camera and you want to get the full image you don't want to take any of the quality away and you know, your your most important thing is you want to get you want to get it right as far as the crop and everything you don't want you don't want it to look funny so you want to make it and cutting it down just like that yes i lost some of it there's some of the image that's gone right here so the resolution has decreased a little bit but i'm telling you it's not that much and you're not going to blow this picture up to a huge 30 by 40 size so you don't have to worry about it this is probably only going to go on social media so it's not even an issue so this is what you have 
Uh, I cropped it uh, really realistically. I would probably crop it just a little more just so it's even there. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now, if you look at the light, look at the shadows here, you can see it is hard light. This is all you have. This is, you have to go with what you have. And this is the way it looked when it came out. And matter of fact, it was a little darker than this. So this looks even brighter than it did when it came out. So uh, you have to go with, with what you were dealt, play the cards you were dealt. So this is it. So what I'll do here is from this point, and keeps bringing up this birthday cake, which is annoying. Okay. So from this point, I'll drop down a little bit and I'll look at my white balance. Now my white balance looks good, but I will check it anyway. And the way that you check it is you look here, you see 2900 and then you see uh, 0.7. So that's what you see there. Now I'll go to auto just to see what Lightroom thinks. And Lightroom's changed it just a little bit. You see it's made a few changes. Not even, I can't even, I can't even see it in, in camera. I mean, you can, it's very, very, this is the before and this is the after. So it's pretty spot on. White balance is pretty good. But I'm going to go with the camera white balance because I like that a little better. So we'll stay with that and then we'll move down a little bit. Now, as far as exposure, I'm going to leave the exposure and the contrast alone for now and I'll go down to my highlights. So I'll bring my highlights down a little bit and then I will bring the shadows out a little bit. Bring them up. So the shadows, this area right here is just brightening up that area and all the other shadows that are in this picture down here, the little shadows. So just bringing that up just a little bit. So I like that. Now my whites, you if you click on, on a PC, if you click the Alt key and hold that down and then move over to the right or move over to the left, it will show you what is blown out in the image. So if I move all the way over, it's gonna show me ooh, everything's blown out. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay, now if I hold it down, actually let me, that's what it'll look like if everything was blown out. So if I hold it down and go back to the left, I'm trying to get rid of everything that's in there. Ooh, okay, so that's good. So I've gotten rid of all the blown out aspects of the picture. Now I'll hold the Alt key down again and come down to the blacks and I can move over and it'll show me everything that's dark in the image. Now I want to have a little bit of dark. If it's not important to the, you know, as far as the subject is concerned, I can just leave it alone. So there it is. That's what we have. So now after doing all this, I look at it. It still looks dull to me. So I will go up to the exposure and I'll bring up some of the exposure. So we bring up the exposure just a little bit. And I think that looks good. Now I can bring up the contrast just a little bit. So it's really, I mean, this is pretty much there already, but I'm just doing a little fine tuning there just to make sure it's the, make sure it's the way that I want it. So as far as the sharpness, you can see it's pretty sharp, but I'll bring the sharpness up just a little bit, just a little bit. Always want to sharpen your images just a little. Okay. So that is. It looks like what I, it looks good. Uh, now in this case, not in all situations do you want to add a vignette, but I think in here it, it's pretty good. Just the way it's set up, I think a little vignette would kind of just bring out the the food just a little bit more. So grab that vin, the amount of the vignette and bring it over to the left just a little bit. Don't want to make it too obvious. Uh, vignettes can really get bad if you make them really obvious. It just doesn't doesn't look good okay so that's what I have maybe bring the shadows up just a little bit more okay that's the finished product okay so let's go ahead and export this and I will talk to you guys in the next video um, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe for more and if you have any questions please comment below I'll talk to you guys in the next one bye